Hi there, uh, everybody. <clears throat> this is uh, Dr. David King, Dave King DDS. There I am. Um, wanted to do a follow-up post on the um, case that I did last week, uh, maybe two weeks ago. Um, so we did um, six crowns. We went through five through number eleven. And we left number ten alone. This is the lower ten crowns. Um, so we did tooth number twenty through tooth number twenty-nine. This is the, like I said, the follow-up. Um, I did not take any post-op uh, photos of the upper and the lower yet. I wanted to give her gums a chance to, to recover. We obviously beat her gums up a little bit during the process, so I wanted to give that a little bit. She's coming in for a follow-up. We're going to do 12 and 13, then 30 and 31 next week or in two weeks, so we'll get some photos there. Hopefully I'll be able to get those online for you. Anyway, this case was a fun case. Um, you know, prepping all 10 crowns all at once is a lot of work. Normally what I like to do schedule-wise is I'll block about, you know, for, for 10 crowns like this, I'd probably block the entire morning, four hours, uh, maybe through the lunch hour. So seven o'clock to 11 or maybe even 12. Um, and then double block it and then make sure that if there are any recall appointments or checkups, that those are abbreviated as well. <clears throat> so as you can see here, and what we've got going on on the screen is um, I've got the initial proposal uh, and I'm editing a little bit, changing the spacer settings, uh, making sure that we get those teeth positioned where we want them to be. Now I know I've mentioned this before, but my first step whenever we're doing this is to make sure the teeth are positioned ideally. Uh, once the computer gives you a proposal, generally those proposals can be pretty nice now with a 4.5 software. Uh, but what I like to do is uh, position and rotate first. So use the position and rotate tool um, or use the bio jaw function. Um, but if we don't use the bio jaw, use the position and rotate tool. Um, also adding um, a couple of, um, changing the scaling rather. Once we got the position rotate where I want them to be, then normally I like to use the anatomic shape tool um, or the circular shape tool to make any adjustments that I need. Um, you'll notice that uh, the cement spacer and the minimal thickness is all materials dependent. I know we've had that discussion before. But uh, you want to make sure that you take into account um, the position in the mouth so we don't necessarily need two millimeters of, a, of porcelain coverage on an anterior tooth. Um, so this case, again, turned out really, really nice in the end. I'll hope to post some pictures for you of how it turned out. Uh, you'll notice that I'm doing a little refining on the anatomy. Now, one thing I did notice afterward is when the computer proposed these, you know, I had prepared the teeth, reduced the facial and the incisal and the lingual and the interproximals, and the computer proposed the proposal a little bit to the lingual, which was okay, but it created some thin spots for us to deal with. So you'll probably see that here in the end. We had a few thin spots, the, the minimal thickness uh, violations or warnings that we had to take care of. And you can see here I'm going through and altering the spacer on each of these crowns. Generally, this spacer number right here is all dependent on what type of cement you're using um, and the location in the mouth and how smooth your preps are. But making sure that the spacer is adequate for your need is really important, um, again, based on the cement thickness. So know your cement thickness. Anyway, this case turned out really nice. You'll notice this case is at, <coughs> excuse me, at five times the, the, the speed. The design process took only about 25 minutes, which was nice. A lot of times those upper anterior design processes can take 45 minutes or so because they're so much more visible. The lower anteriors tend to take less time. Um, but this case turned out really nice. Um, in the end, it was, uh, it was a great opportunity to serve a patient. I hope you've enjoyed watching. Thanks.